In this video, we will present the solution to question number nine for practice exam number two for math 1210. We are given the limit as h approaches zero of one plus h to the 10th minus one over h. And we're told that it represents the derivative of some function f at some number a. And we're supposed to identify what the function f and the number a must be. Now this requires we know the definition of the derivative, which it really comes in two forms. So the first form, that we're, we use very often, f prime of x, is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, like so. And in particular, since we're looking for a specific number, not the general function necessarily, what we can do is we can erase the variable x, right? And instead, we use the specific number a. You'll see that right there. Uh, that's the first form. The other version of the derivative that could come into play right here is you'll see something like the limit as b approaches a of f of b minus f of a over b minus a. For which that could be a b, this looks really like the slope formula, but that symbol b could be anything it wants to be, right? It doesn't actually have to be a b. It's just a placeholder, just a slider. Uh, just much like over here, it doesn't have to be an H, although that's the symbol we use most often. You could have like the limit as X approaches A of F of X minus F of A over X minus A. Those two versions are both appropriate in this one. Now, looking at the limit as H approaches zero, when you have this H in the bottom, it tells us that this is the format that we are going to be using here. So we should see that then this right here should then be F of, of A plus H. And then this right here should be f of a. Well, given that this function right here is f of a plus h, I see a 1 plus h. That makes me think that, hmm, maybe a plus h is equal to 1 plus h. That is to say, a equals 1. Well, if that's the case, what's then the function in play? Well, the a plus h seems to be sitting inside of the power function f of x equals uh, x to the 10th. Notice if I take one plus h and I put it inside of this function right here, you'll get one plus h to the 10th. So that seems to check out here. Let's then also test my hypothesis. If f is x to the 10th and a is equal to one, what is then f of one? That'll be one to the 10th, one to the 10th, which is then equal to one, which is exactly what that number is right here. So that, th that gives us what we're looking for. We're looking for x is the 10th power and a equals one which that then gives us as the correct answer, B.